weather any better here than in Chicago? I think it's similar, right? <laughs> similar, a little colder up here. What's the key to punting well in that weather when it gets late in the season here? I think it's just managing the game, right? Just squeezing out the 40, 45, maybe hit the 50 when you can. Sometimes you're going into the wind, sometimes you're going with it. But I think it's all about managing it, you know what I mean? So get the ball as far as you can down the field, try to get it outside the numbers for the guys to cover. I think that's really important as the season progresses to give those guys an opportunity to cover the, the punts. Hey, Pat, you've been around a long time. We, we've seen specialists come through here, and they've been established guys. When they hit free agency, they're like, dome or warm weather? Did you, A, have any of those opportunities or even think that, you know, maybe that's where I would want to do at this point in your career? Yeah, I had some of those opportunities in free agency, but, I mean, when the franchise like this comes calling, you definitely want to play for an organization that has such a rich history here. And playing for Bisaccia, that was a that was a huge component. And also playing with Mason Crosby, is, I've also obviously had a lot of uh, games with him that I've admired him from afar, and just to see what he's done here for so long, like having an opportunity to play with him was a huge factor. Coach uh, Coach Bisaccia told us last week that when he first got the job in in uh, Oakland, that he wanted them to pursue you. Um, were you aware of that at all? That he had, that you know, had you guys made any contact at, at that point back when he was getting the Raiders job? Yeah, I heard some murmurs like in free agency. Uh, obviously, they went a different direction, but he, this league is crazy. How you know we end up on the same team a couple years down the road. So, as soon as uh, I found out they were interested and in having an opportunity to reconnect with Rich, it was a no-brainer for me to come up here. Hey Pat, how well do you know Mason, and just what has that been like now, kind of getting? as far as teammates now that, that go east in this? Yeah, just playing against him for the last eight years, just seeing what he has done here. A lot of respect, obviously, coming from a cold weather place, and the fact that he's been here so long is incredible. Uh, I'm actually living with Mason right now in his basement, so uh, shout out to the Crosbys for hosting me. Uh, so, I'm, yeah, building that relationship, I think, is really important. Uh, doing anything off the field, whether that's golfing or him coming down to Florida with me when I do a little bit of off-season training. Uh, so I think that's really important to build that chemistry as soon as we can. How well did you know Mason before coming here? Did you guys cross paths much? Or? Just saying hi, pregame, things like that. How's the family doing? Nothing too crazy. No, I haven't had any extensive conversation with him, but now we're like best friends. So, yeah. so Well, you're living in his basement, so that would qualify. Yeah, exactly, you know, exactly. How did that opportunity to live in his basement come about? Did he just call you? or? Yeah, it's kind of a funny story. Uh, I was a PA rep <clears throat> for Chicago, and during the whole free agency process, we're, we were out there, and he's obviously the rep for the team. And I knew that Green Bay was interested, and I asked a lot of questions. My wife was out there. Molly Crosby was out there. So they kind of connected. And uh, yeah, they made a strong push for, for me to come here and my family. So I'm really fortunate and happy that I actually am here. Yeah, we, we live in a weird time with social media and stuff, so this is going to sound crazy. But somebody sent me a picture of you and him at like a Passover dinner last week? Is that, was that, that was not a deep fake? That was actually you guys together? <laughs> yeah, he actually came down. So uh, my wife's side is Jewish and uh, I'm fortunate enough I get to do Passover with her and me being Catholic, I actually did Easter up here with the Crosbys and my wife uh, joined in also. So yeah, uh, it might've been his first Passover. I think it was. So I think he was excited to have that opportunity doing something new for himself. So. Yeah, I like to bring that to the table if I can. New opportunities, new challenges, right? Um, speaking of opportunities, and you'll learn that Rob is our resident punting expert here. I thought we were going to say I'm your resident Jew, which is all there. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you. Yeah, there you go. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to besmirch your most most well known job in punting, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of questions about the job of holding around here. When you look at how important that is to your big picture of your job, how vital is that, and how much of a strength do you think that? Yeah, I think it's really important. I take a lot of pride in holding just like I do punting, and that's half of it for me, being on the field, holding for field goals, and we got to put points on the board. So uh, I've been fortunate to have a lot of good kickers that I've worked with in the past, and having a veteran like Mason, I think we're going to hit the ground running. And uh, I think it's important to like me to be the caddy. You know, we kind of bounce ideas off each other, with how the wind's playing, how he likes the ball held and leaned. I think that's really important. It kind of goes unnoticed. But I think that's really important to have that chemistry with uh, your holder and me with the kicker. What does it take to have a base now? What's the, what's the key or the secret to just extending your leg well into a career? What do you guys have? One more time, I'm sorry. How do I extend? Just keeping your leg good for right. a decade in the NFL. 
I think it's just keep working hard. Like you got to hit the weights in the weight room. I, I know how this season progresses and I know how cold it gets up here. So you can't fall off with your, your weights, your conditioning and things like that. It's also managing like your pitch count. You don't want to hit a thousand balls in practice and have nothing left for the game. So I think it's important to be able to manage yourself almost like a pitcher in that regard. Yeah, how did um, Tabor, um, your relationship with him and how he coached you, was he a guy who sort of let you just do what you do or did he know a lot about punting and conversely, how is Rich in that area? Does he just let you do what you got to do or does he have real ideas on how to coach the position? Uh, to answer your point about Tabor, yeah, he was you know, a veteran coach. He's had a lot of good players in the past. He, uh, he brought me along when I was you know, new with him, and we kind of grew and had that relationship, and he kind of knew how I liked to do things, and I did things that he liked to do. But uh, yeah, with Rich, I think he's, he's a great coach. He's one of the most well-respected coaches in the league. He's had a lot of success where he's been, and I think I'm you know, really excited and fortunate to have him as a coach and he's coached a lot of good punters. Like I said, like last punter he had went to the Pro Bowl and you know had a good success with him. So does, does a good special teams coach just leave a punter alone, or are there things he can see that maybe you don't necessarily notice? Yeah, I'm sure he's probably has a full report on me and things that I can get better on. And obviously, this is like my third day here, and we're just kind of getting to know each other. So I think we'll probably dive into that as we progress and get on the field and work together. So yeah. That I'm not sure I've ever asked anyone. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. With the investment of the pack of men's special teams this offseason, it feels like there's sort of a culture change around special teams. What does that mean to you to kind of be the key piece in that culture change? Yeah, I think me being a special team player, you take a lot of pride in the phase and whatever I can do to help, honestly, whether it's holding, punting, whatever that is, just encouraging the guys, building that chemistry, I think is really important. And uh, I think a lot of guys are excited for the challenge ahead of us. Pat, I'm not sure I've asked anyone this question before, uh, but what's the key to proper holding? Because that's not just a skill that you, you're born doing, right? So what's, what's the key to the holding on, on place kicks? I think it's just consistency. It's hitting the spot, you know, wherever we decide, you know, where the ball should be. We kind of have a little mark or my fingers are here and the ball has to be there. You know, that's where he's expecting the ball to be. Whether it be a windy game, we kind of toy around with the laces a little bit to make sure it kind of acts like a rudder and holds a little bit better in windy situations and colder games. So I think it's all about consistency, me putting the ball down where it's supposed to be and having you know the kicker have an opportunity to make that kick. Pat, being a you know, Florida kid, what do you think's enabled you to punt you know, as well and as long as you have you know, in, in colder conditions and being able to make that adjustment? Yeah, so I went to University of Cincinnati from Florida, and that was obviously a culture shock for me. I never saw snow at the time. So, yeah, ever since then, I've, I've been in cold weather places. So uh, the transition has been a little bit easier for me being in Chicago the last eight years. And I'm not saying it's an easy place to play here by, by any means, but I think it definitely has prepped me, you know, to come here and hopefully perform well. What is it about Rich that made you want to play for him? I mean, obviously, his reputation is, is pretty good in the league, but what, what, what is it about him as a coach that made you want to play for him? He's very passionate. You're going to get everything out of him every single day. And I think one of the main driving factors in me coming here, he says, I think I can make you a better player. You know, and I think that you can be an asset to the team and help everyone around you. And I think being a veteran player, like that's all you can ask for. You just want to have a coach that's open, receptive, and trying to get the best out of you each and every day. We've heard from guys like Mason over the years about how the wins can be a little tricky in Lambo as a visiting player who's come and played here kind of what's what's been your take on on you know what it takes uh, you know in the wins out here and what makes them tricky yeah so I've, I've had a couple conversations with Mason you know it flows a little bit differently but it's good to have that veteran uh you know leader on the team in the kicking world to say hey this is how the wind's blowing maybe you should play this ball right ball left ball you know hit a different funky ball maybe it, you know the returner drops it um but yeah just Getting as much uh, reps as you can, like in the in the stadium or getting the field work, uh, I think it's crucial and very important uh, to have multiple kicks and to develop develop those as the season you know gets colder. Hey Pat, as uh, nice as Mason and Molly's uh, hospitality might be, that a that's a pretty crowded house, uh, as we well know. But b, what's kind of your plan with Shelby? Is that your wife? It is. Yes. Um, are she gonna come up? soon? How long are you going to be living in the basement? 
Are you doing some babysitting work while you're there? What's the deal? Yeah, we're doing a lot. It's like cheaper by the dozen in that house right now. So <laughs> I, have a, I have a daughter, 18 month old. So she's running around hanging out with the Crosbys. Uh, but yeah, we just we've got a house and uh, just waiting to close and all that good stuff. So been fortunate to find something in a crazy market.